I found out that we were going to get iPads. Are we really going to use iPads? What are we going to use iPads for? Are we? But I was because I'm not really that great with technology. I was kind of one of those people who is uh, adverse to technology. But we got it, and once I got it, you know, I was sort of you know slowly you know you know easing into it. I was hesitant, but I got better and better with it. You know, some people helped me out. Once I got a handle of it. I learned all the things I could do with it. There's a whole world opened up to you with the iPad. All your thoughts put down there on the iPad ready for you to just, you know, pull up at any moment in time. You know, you could use it to take down notes. I like to hear everything this professor is saying because there's like subtle nuances that, you know, they say when they talk. So I can get a whole lecture in there and then listen to it at any time and it's really helped me out with my schoolwork. In drawing, we actually use the brushes app. We take a picture and our instructor, he advises us, just trace the picture on your iPad. You know, look at those lines, remember those lines, and then you could use that to put it on your actual, you know, paper that you're drawing with. So I did that, and it's helped me out a lot, because seeing those lines more clearly, I actually understand, oh, that's supposed to go that way. I really latched on to the iPad. I, I you know, I started out, you know, thinking I'm uh, not liking technology. I think it's really starting to encroach upon our lives in a very negative way. But now I think this can be used in a positive way. It doesn't all have to be used for angry birds. The iPad can be used to, you know, be a very productive thing in your daily life. Yeah, it does have apps to exist, you know, to get you through, you know, past the time. You can use it for angry birds, but the iPad, it, it has so much more that you can do with it.